This is what the darning looks like. So this is the kind of darning we're going to be doing today. Just around the edge, nothing in the center, because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> yeah. But I find darning your point shoes is so much better than just having a flat, uh, with just flat and satin, because it makes it easier to go on point. It's just so much easier. So let's get started. You will need um, some kind of yarn. I'm just using thin yarn, thin pink yarn. This is 100% um, cotton. Because I bought a cotton. Um, you are going to need a darning needle. You are going to need your point shoes, obviously. And you are going to need scissors. So I have already cut my um, yarn to the length of my this part of my arm from my between here to here twice. And that worked for me for my other point shoe that is about the right size. It's a little bit long. It's a little bit too long, but it's better to have it too long than not long enough. So then you just want to um, thread your needle. Duh. And yes, this is a darning needle. If you do not have a darning needle, you do not need one. At, you do not necessarily need a darning needle. But a darning needle does make it a lot easier to darn your point shoes. You can use a doll making needle. That's how I learned how to do it since my sister does doll making. So, yeah, let's get started. So you want to pick the side of your point shoe you're going to be starting on. I like to start at the bottom. So I'm, I'm going up. I'm pointing my needle up to the top my point shoe. So I'm going to go make sure you go through um, more than just the satin. I just went through the satin there. Okay. I'm going to get through like that and um, pull it all the way through. Okay, so you don't want to pull it all the way through because then it'll just pull out. And uh, you want to tie a little knot at the edge. I already have. Wow, I've done all this stuff off camera. Why? I don't know. And you don't want to pull it all the way to the knot. Just there. Okay, and then make another, uh, you want to go through about a centimeter away through the point shoe. Oopsie, sorry. Insert, like that. Okay, so you don't want to take the piece that is, um, connected to the uh, needle. You want to take the piece that is not connected to the needle and you want to put it around the back of this and you can hold it with your thumb and just and just pull it through. Right. And just pull it through and you've made your first stitch it's not very obvious because you have you've only made one and you want to do the same thing I'm going to show you two more times all right so you want to make an insert up the point shoe like this taking the piece that is not connected to the uh, needle and taking the other one and going around the back. So you can around the back and pulling it through. And you have made two stitches. I'm gonna show you one more time and then, yeah, okay. And then 
go in there like that. Take remember not the piece that's connected to the needle, the other piece around the back and pull it through. And just continue this all the way around the point shoe and then I'll show you how to tie it off. So I've gone all the way around the point shoe. So um, this stitch is our very close together. And now you want to make another stitch right underneath your first stitch. So you want to poke as you, if, I don't know if you guys can see that. that this is, I'm going to put my needle underneath. Like, okay, this is the very first stitch that we ever made. And so then you want to go underneath, still through the shoe, not just underneath the um, yarn. You want to make another stitch underneath there and make a regular stitch, not the piece that's connected to the needle, around the back and pull it through. All right, you guys, we are so nearly done. So now what we need to do is, okay, so you can take out the needle from here. We need to tie this little tail that we made at the beginning and this piece together. Once and then make it sure it's very tight and then twice. Okay, it does not want to knot for some strange reason. Sorry, you guys. Okay, now I have got it knotted. Now, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut it that, about that long, actually. A little bit longer, actually. Okay. And now we are going to take your needle and we're going to push it all the way through underneath these stitches a couple of uh, underneath a couple of stitches oopsies I've gone upwards you want to go straight across like that underneath those stitches like underneath and then you want to pull this through and the reason why I'm doing this without threading it first is just because it's so short and then you want to thread this and just pull it through so let me thread this right it's threaded and then you just want to pull it through <laughs> it's hard to pull doesn't want to come through because my fingers are all sweaty now. Okay. Get, okay. There we go. And then it's fine if it comes undone. And then pull it like, but pull it really tight. Pull it really tight so then it kind of scrunches up the stuff. And then cut it, making sure you're not cutting the actual shoe and pull it tight and then you can kind of just rub it with your finger and that will kind of and then you just want to do the other thing on the other side so I'm gonna just do that and then I'll be right back all right and then you're done you have completed your darning and as you can see sometimes sometimes of course now it doesn't but uh, my other pairs they wanted to stand up now it doesn't for some strange reason I don't know why but it just makes it a lot easier. With a tiny bit of weight in it, it already stands up. I just need to kind of pinch the top and it stands up. It's barely holding it and it stands up perfectly. So yeah, I hope this video has made it a lot easier for you guys. So comment down below what you guys want me to do next week. Yeah.
Bye guys.